Where can I? I've got troops on two front lines, which is not ideal. Meanwhile, the battle for Stalingrad rumbles on. Stalingrad, Leningrad. We're not quite that far advanced. I feel like I can probably take some divisions out of here and assign them to another army to use up north. I feel like this, this is probably going to be okay to do. Right, let's, let's take that one, that one. All of them. And form a brand new army. Two. That's not quite what I selected, was it? So we've got this lot in it. That's, that's fine. Uh, let's give them a nice, aggressive commander. And we may as well put them in another... We don't have another field marshal, do we? Hmm, a shame we can't... He can't handle a bit more. Tell you what, he can... can put him in there. This guy doesn't need to be... Doesn't need to be... Um, oh, what have I done? Oh, you fool. You fool. You, you absolute fool. Right, put them in there like that. I meant to just unassign him. This is this is what happened. So, who was the guy? It was some him. <laughs> it's fine. We just need to now reassign all the flipping things. So, we're going to go... This takes ages, doesn't it? Is it? Does anyone else do mistakes like this? Or is it just me? You know, when we're clicking on things... Uh, we're trying to work our way around and we just we just go too fast or we misclick. Because I seem to do it all the sodding time. Right, so I don't need to do the inland stuff, but I do need... Oh, well, I kind of do need to do inland because otherwise I'll miss something. There's, that's, that's, that's actually quite good. Uh, we won't have enough to hold all this, sadly. Is there any islands? We've got the islands, right? And there's this one over here. Right, so they shouldn't move a muscle. <laughs> right, anyway, so back to the point. We got this guy forming up down here with some units. And what I need them to do is we need to be able to form a cutoff. So I think I'm going to bring them over to here. And we're going to attack straight across here and cut that lot off first. With those lots surrounded, then we can then press up further north. And I think that's going to be the way to do it. It also gives us a good angle to go and cut off across there as well. And I don't think the Soviets are going to be in any position to try and uh, object to this. So as soon as they're ready to go, we're setting off. And uh, we're going to get them. We're going to get them, folks. We've actually got some new divisions come in. We have. Are these all... Oh, this is just fresh infantry. This is this is ideal. Uh, let's add them straight into this aggressive bunch. And they can come and join in the fun up here. And we won't be able to supply the men across here, I'm sure, but... Uh, We'll have to deal with that. So what have we got here? We've got... These are our trucks again, aren't they? They're still only size 2, so we can't put a policy in place. Hmm. What are we working on? This one. Hardness. We want reliability at more cost. Or cheaper for less reliable. <laughs> I'm going to go for that one because we need, like, a lot of trucks. We're not making many. <laughs> That's something that we absolutely do need to... Oh, we're catching up, though. So it's getting better. Oof. It's support equipment and artillery. We're down on a lot of things. I'm hoping there's going to be a nice, quiet spell after the, this war, and then we can get everything... everything sort of built back up to where it needs to be. Right, then. It is time to go. Zoom. They're going to be in no state to try and resist that. 
So move along one, leave one, leave one. Meanwhile, the original five that are going over there. Utilize the salmon. So that's going to help with movement and stuff. Brilliant. A nice little uh, selection there. Let's get the Jaeger movement. I am going to catch up with the other things in the research. I definitely am, but I, I want to power through this war for now. We're going to leave a guy there as we move up and make sure we cut this lot off. And then we no longer get the effects from communist pressure. I think that's good. We didn't want any communist pressure. How's our leader doing? People are starting to trust him now, which is really good. I don't want to dismantle the faction. So this trust is going up and then we start to get bonuses which will be recruitable population, stability, and war support. Nice. That's stuff that we definitely need. Oh, we've got points. We could go for another commander here. So we have the option of going for army logistics. There's another genius. The recovery rate sounds really good. And I feel like... Ah, uh, they're both good, though. Hmm... We could then do like fast advances and recover faster. I think we'll go for that. So this needs to be, this, this particular victory here needs to be quite quick. Right, they're going in. So what we're doing is we're going to try and join up here. Don't know if I'm going the right way. Uh, that should surround all this lot, and then this is another another cutoff. We can start feasting on this now, can't we? Let's cut them all up, and let's start battering through. And that lot is going to be very tastily surrounded. Nice. We've got it. We've got it. I think we've got it anyway. This is this is good. And also it's gonna mean our our front lines are gonna look much tidier after all this as well. Oh we've got a little a little pocket there. <laughs> Another six divisions fall. Ah, oh, nice one. Very nice. So how's our recruits coming on? What we need is more of these defense guys. Because I'm going to have to... We're going to say... We'll go for 11. Because we definitely need some of those. Right, what have we got? We managed to recruit another one of these. Let's put him into that army for now. I kind of need to consolidate these armies and tidy up and get the units together uh, that belong together or change some templates around. Good stuff, fellas. We've nearly got this. This is, this is all on us um, as these guys are going to crumble away to nothing. Hey, we've got someone in Murmansk. Excellent. Uh, what exactly is going on here, do you think? Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of help into there. Let's attack them from behind as well. Uh, meanwhile, we can just plough through here. I don't think there's going to be much left. This is looking just as it should. Let's crush everything. There you go. White Finland expands. Legion of Romania seeds. Bessarabia to the Soviet Union. Really? Did you did you really feel like you were in a position where you had to give in to their demands? Cock and balls is growing. Looking good. <laughs> right. You pile into there. There's another load of divisions. These guys are all going to go. 
The slaughter down near Leningrad continues. I mean, how much do we want to weaken the Soviet Union? Excellent, that's done. So that we've got the war austerity train as well. So do we want to do armoured and railway guns? Probably not at the moment. Uh, what was the... Okay, we didn't look at that, that winter logistics company, did we? That we've researched. Let's get some better fighters on the go. I would like engines three. And what's this? This is the train. So we now do cheaper trains. The trucks are catching up slowly. We have some unassigned divisions. Uh, you can actually go to make that force. Right, excellent. So we have a situation here rapidly developing that has gone horrendously wrong. Stop, 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 stop. Don't even think about it. You know, I hate the way this game handles front lines sometimes. I don't know why that was a thing. Don't think it was me moving troops off the front, but it's okay. It's going to be fine. I'm just going to make sure they're all set to that as well. 24 divisions. And where next then? I mean, what is worth... It's not really worth advancing into the the abyss around here, is it? So what we want to do... Uh, interesting thought, folks. What do you think is the possibility that all of, the, all of the Soviet forces are now around Leningrad? How likely is that to be the case? Because I have a cunning plan here. Put that on there. We're going to go... Can we do this? I think we might be able to do this. We're going to sweep around behind them and cut them off like that. We're going to need some sort of supply coming through. This is going to be the, the difficult thing. Oh, we, we have supply. Excellent. Right, we need to link that up. What's going to be the best way to link that up? Straight across from here, I think. Uh, actually, I could bring it straight. I can do that quicker, can I? And we better put that up to five and that up to five. And what we need is that one at the top and that. So that's, that's a big objective build there, but it kind of needs to be done. And we need to be able to get supplies across to here. Other than through the port. All right. Okay. So... Oh, what was this, um, if I edit this, do we have this winter logistics company? So it adds a ton of defense. That's interesting. Some attack. Cold acclimatization and a load of, oh, a load of bonuses in snow. That sounds really nice. Attack, defense and movement. For the infantry? I think that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Although, I mean, I would put it straight in, but not for the fact that we are hugely short of equipment. Uh, very good. Okay, we should have another force up here as well. So, should I just go up here and, and sort of smash these guys out? I think what I will do is just redraw these army lines. Now the purple force is starting to come down here. And I think we're going to go straight to the river. <laughs> I don't know what he said, but he sounded very angry. I like the movement speed in snow. Uh, and that would be better. Okay. We're going to do this. I'm, this is a stupid time to do this, but we're going to do this. Do I need to spend the XP on both? Yeah, we might. I'm going to add that. We're not going to be able to afford it. And the other one I want is on there as well. Because we are going to upgrade to this template, which is actually very similar. But um, 
Let's spend it. I like the, the stag's head. I like the fact... I mean, I know we can create any custom uh, logo and stuff, but it just looks awesome, doesn't it? I like these, this idea of these elite Finnish soldiers. This would be an almighty achievement if I cut this off altogether. I do wonder, actually. Let's get this guy. Let's shorten this front line for a start. Let's get this, this army on here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, have we got around behind them? Superb. Well, let's definitely cut that off. Uh, but your front line does not need to extend all the way around there now. So let's do that. And I just want to make sure that that is drawn in like that to meet. And then we have another force, which I'm going to have to colour something different here because I can't tell. Let's go green. Where are these guys? So. Right. Okay. These are nicely spread around here. Oh, is that the only way? Is this all frozen lakes? Ah, that explains, that explains why we can't do that then. Fair enough. We'll go around that way. And we'll just get behind them. And make sure we cut them off like that. And then there's another load of Russians all captured, isn't there? Right. Brilliant. Are you guys on the front line? If not, you probably should be. Okay. Let's send these guys an order. So the next order... I mean, I might just start marching down to Moscow, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut all this, this crap off. We're going to go like that. Which is going to make us a little bit vulnerable for a while, but we do have another army coming down to help us from the north, so... I'm not sure the Winter War was supposed to go like this from Russia's perspective. We're only in 1940. What is that? The Soviet Mountain... How are they doing that? How are they getting naval supremacy high enough for me to... for them to invade me like that? Do the rules apply differently to the AI? I mean, they're not going to be successful. And I don't know where they're invading from. Oh, I suppose they could be coming across from here. Anyway, let's get this, uh, this mission in the planning. They're okay for supply down there for the time being. So we're waiting for these guys to go through. And this attack is on its way through. Let's go, come on, we want to go through like this. Uh, and let's just pile in, pile in. And we'll eventually get them a frontline order made and we'll, we'll fill this out. And then we're just going to expand one army into the, into the white expanse. So the Germans are off to war with Yugoslavia. Okay. We can now have somebody else. Do we want a head of the Navy? Actually, we might want a head of the Air Force. All weather expert or ground support. We'll do this. We need to get some proper ground support troops. What's the situation with the Air Force at the moment? Uh, it's... I'd say it's somewhat struggling. Oh, we have nothing over here. We have an air... Oh, we have an airfield now. Let me take these guys over to here. And we're going to put that on there for the bit of time it needs to be on there. And then I'd say we can take one of these off here. And we'll put you on that one. Not full air superiority just yet. We can't, uh, can't quite afford that. I don't really know why I'm not um, assisting with these, actually. Nice. We've got enough coming in now, and we're gonna we're gonna surround all that, and that's gonna be another six division, five divisions anyway. Snipped off. 
There's something confusing going on there. There was attacks going in both directions for, for a moment. Cool, we've got the Jaeger movement, the Motti tactics. Uh, this will be... Organisation loss when moving is reduced. Recon bonus while in trenches is increased. Attacking division speed is increased. Is there anything in here that isn't absolutely amazing? It's 35 days as well. So hang on, let me just see. This is the Finnish army, isn't it? Finnish army. Wow, look at all those huge bonuses. And it's going to get even better. I like that a lot. Okay, we can have... Oh, I was saving up for him, wasn't I? And I forgot. Never mind. Although the attrition might not be a bad thing to actually take advantage of. Come on, guys. We need to... We need to batter through here. And then half of you need to make sure we get that. Because we, we want to snip up all these divisions. We're not leaving anything behind. And this should be weakening stuff down here as well. Are they doing suicidal... Con what are the casualties? Hang on, I've got to take a look at this. So 124,000 to 2.4 million. <laughs> and Mongolia is, you know, fast casting, catching up to us as well. This is a... Uh, excuse me. This is a, a slaughter. A slaughter that we can be quite proud of. Anyway, let's see if we can just finish this one up in the north. I think we're going to. I mean, they're in, they're in no state to sort of resist us at all. Excellent. We're in there. We've got stuff in. Now is the time to do the big crush. Everything seems to be... They're just collapsing everywhere. So, we need to figure out where this goes to. Can we just advance across there, by the way? No, we have to go through that one. Okay. Not yet. Now is not the time. Not yet. All these frozen lakes and stuff, it's kind of hard to, to see where we're going. Right, we have the military police upgrade. I'm going to add in the... We want heavy machine guns, don't we? For the aircraft. We're going to get some better fighters. We're slowly upgrading the fighters. We need more factories, really, to, uh, to try and boost that. What can we have? We can have production output plus 5%. Yes, please. And this is still only at level 4, so we can't quite get the, uh, the policies there. We will. We will soon. Right, we've got this. Well, let's make sure we get that one and then just finish those guys off. Now, I'll probably take the Green Army down to assist in this. There's a bit of a breakout. The, the Soviet troops are just absolutely knackered. And they're just flinging men into here. But our ranks are filling up quite nicely. We are filling the ranks up nicely indeed. Save those points. We're going to get that expert. Right, we got them. We got them. Right, cool. So what I'm going to do... Got the nice artillery upgrade again. In December 1940. Oh, we need to go and add in the... Uh, to help the garrisons, don't we? The military police up there. Actually, if we've got that one, let's go straight for military police too. And try and reduce our reliance on such things. It is under here. So do we have, we haven't actually formed a police force. So we edit this. Okay, we duplicate this. And we're gonna call this police and we'll find a symbol. You know how I do this by now. It's just to keep things easy so I can see. They don't need to have top equipment. Uh, they don't need this. What should we, what should we symbolize them with? What looks police, what, what looks that one? <laughs> uh, I don't actually know I've used that in the past but I think that's in use somewhere else so the secret police devils 
Um, I guess that will will do that one. And we'll change that for military police in there. And that should help for the time being. And we just make sure it's using that. Occupied territories. Uh, they're using the police force. Excellent. So that should... Yes, it's instantly gone. Excellent. Uh, we do... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'd totally forgotten. We've been preparing a collaboration government for like ever. Uh, let's do that again. And use our two spare. That one and that one. It's going to use a bit of our um, our factory, civilian factories to do this, but yeah, they don't look like they're ready to uh, capitulate just yet. But this will count for the future as well, so not just for now. I don't know whether we're going all the way to Moscow here. It'll be an interesting uh, proposition if we do. They're once again trying it on over there. So, 19 divisions. Let me... Let me um, get this army. Let's do this. You should be all in here, by the way. 24 divisions. And we would like this to go... Should we try and take in that? That's maybe too big a front, is it? It's always nice to have a port, though, isn't it? So let's, let's do this. Um, I would kind of like it to go like that, I think. So get planning. Yep, get you guys over from down here. How's the situation with the railroads going? We have some sort of connection, so sp supplies are coming down, I think, probably from the port to here. So it's looking okay. King Carol abdicates. And I'm pretty sure we could probably trigger that and just go for it. And we'll use a little green army to try and link the two, two sides up, shall we? Go on. I don't think there's going to be really much stands in the way. Apart from the fact that that looks like it could do with some help there to get through. Uh, and then supply will be an issue, but we're extending their front lines, so it should be quite good fun. I feel like we're running away with this. I think it's fantastic. Uh, yep, go on. This green army is going to come into some good use very soon. What's going on around um, Leningrad then? Whole load more attacks. Oh, we've got our big fleet here as well. I'd forgotten we put that in. It's slightly damaged, but it's, it's absolutely fine. And they're just providing shore bombardment bonuses for us, which is excellent. So these guys are doing a, a rather costly fight, but this is to grab some territory. We've got the Motti tactics. Excellent. Finish radio intelligence. Uh, this gives us... Oh, as a as military high command, we can have... Oh, it gives us research speed. Oh, just electronics research speed. Okay. And long-range patrols. Unlocks the support battalion long-range patrol company. Oh, it's so good. I don't remember ever playing... I mean, the Swedish tree was quite good. This is amazing. What else have we got? That would give us more public trust. Um, as a political advisor, he gives division recovery rate. Wow, as a political advisor. So he's not even taken up a military high command. And he's given us some quite good stuff. Very nice. What's the advanced Jaeger training program? Oh, that gives us special forces stuff and research bonuses, which is which is nice. What's Greater Finland down here? Uh, let's have a look. The public trust moves towards the side of high public trust, which is good. So Kualan, well, somewhere, somewhere, Finnish place is now a, a core of white Finland. Oniga, Olenets, the bottom is, uh, okay. Finnmark is... And White Finland will be known as Greater Finland. We gain a load of claims on places. That also sounds good. Um, 
Okay, do we want that now or can we hold off on that a little bit? What does that one give us? Political advisor, but we gain base stability. <laughs> can you see how awesome this is and how I'm struggling to actually choose what to go with at any one time? And I still want the... Um... Oh, what's over here? Oh, that's okay. I still want that research slot as well. The underground resistance cells. I don't think they're worth having now, are they? No, I don't think they are, but following on... Uh, design team costs, okay. I don't think that is... I don't think that is... Uh, gains, one size and complete trait, salvage and retooled. Is that for... That's the design team, okay. Uh, I'm going to go for long-range patrols. Because that might be better than a reconnaissance unit. Right, we're moving through there. So we want these guys to come down to here. Bring everyone along. And then what shall we do? Shall we try and swing around behind? We have to go across a river, do we? Perhaps not if I went the other way. Actually, not if I went the other way, we don't. 